take it anymore. I have to grab it, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. That's better. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Last time we made our way through the lava tube in order to get to Golemire's Citadel, but sadly, let me just take over this guy. Samos the Sage has been kidnapped and now we have to rescue all four of these sages before Gold and Maya's evil plans come to be realized. Right, okay, I tried going right, that didn't work. I'm gonna go left then. It doesn't really matter which way you go. I say that because you're basically going to make a round trip of the whole room. But there might be one thing that makes it better. I don't know. We'll find out as we go around. This way, though, we have Blue Rico and a whole bunch of launch pads. And give me these orbs, please. Wow, that's a lot of orbs. Sweet. Okay, and let's go. And you do want to go fra fairly quickly? Yes, thank you, Daxter. Although there is a bit of Blue Rico by each of these launchers, if you can keep a hold of the Blue Rico that you grabbed back in the start, so back from the main vent over there, at the very end of this, there will be... That's not a good position. As you can see over there, there is indeed a blue eco treasure vent thing. I'm not going to make it, so I am deliberately dying there. That wasn't me messing up, guys. I know I can mess up a lot. But that wasn't me messing up. Now that I'm not waiting around to get all those orbs, I can jump straight away, grab this eco, and aim so I'll get this cluster. There we go. And would this way a bit more jump? Okay, cool. I can make that easily. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. Like doing this method, but it's just collecting those few orbs because you do have to wait around. Like, I still have tons of eco, and I didn't even grab the last two clusters. Ooh, so many orbs! That's probably, like, the majority of the orbs already. And for doing all of that, we get to save... ...the... this sage. Was that the yellow... sage? going like why on earth would they give that kind of character to the yellow sage and then I remembered yellow um, yeah yellow eco let's that's my own fault yellow eco lets you shoot off the giant bolts out of your fists which is good for shooting things I guess and be careful you can't actually touch the wall so yeah, hitboxes, they're great. But still, he doesn't live in the... <laughs> he doesn't live in the boggy swamp. Which is kind of where that character... Like, the most similar character to his is. Being the guy in the swamp who had his pet go missing. Don't... No, 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 okay. Grabbing on there is not good. But thankfully I can get this scout fly, please collect. Going back shouldn't be as hard if I look. Oh, the shortcut back. That's okay. And this platform will... Uh, I thought it would 
actually carry me all the way over. Also, you could probably guess how these platforms work. You jump on a color, all of that color will disappear. That's where we left off, so onwards to the red sa What What sage are you? Where are you? There you are. No, the blue sage is next. Even though we used all the blue eco in that other one. Right, tip for getting all the orbs on these platforms. Don't be if Oh, that doesn't bring him back. You need to hit it twice to do that. Tip for getting all the orbs. Ooh, that wasn't good. Don't do that. That's not the way to do it. Hey, am I distracting you? Don't distract the sailors. You will die. Good to know. As I was saying, trying to say before, try to avoid running in between the darn tiles. Like I've almost done again. But you might want to ignore the precursor orbs just for a little bit so that you can make it to the other side and then you can just respawn the platforms. And oh no. Oh no. I this is probably my least favorite of all the sage rooms as I like to call them. And I do believe you're actually going to need to do a long jump somewhere in this room. Um, you're not meant to actually jump up there. You're meant to just grab onto the ledge. I'm not risking that. You're meant to just grab onto the ledge of that one so you don't, don't jump into that fiery jet of flame. And instead, long jump here. And instead, I guess there is Blue Rico. I feel like I... Sorry, I got really distracted there, because I feel like I missed... Wait until they stop moving. There we go. But yes, back there, you're meant to grab onto the ledge and wait for it to move around. Oh, oh. That was so close! Oh my goodness, that was so close, guys. But here we are, the blue save! Good work, fellows! Old Samus was right about you! Great piles of precursor metal! That insidious mechanical creation must not be allowed to wreak its terrible havoc! I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy between myself and the vast portal below! Uh, yeah, you do that. We'll, uh, just go find more help. Weirdo! So basically, he's just doing the same thing as the yellow Eco Sage, who is significantly less intelligent, and just shooting a giant beam of e into it. That's pretty much it. Do I miss anything over here? No, I do not. Okay, uh, wait, no, never mind. This is where we left off. See, it's all so confusing. Anyway, heading off. Oh, wait, what? Um. That must be where you come, yep, that's where you come down from the next sage, which you guys could already have guessed who it is. It is the Red Eco Sage. And by the way, if you also couldn't guess, these scout flies are the only made the jump this time. Oh yeah. These scout flies I'm collecting are the only pre Power cell, not precursors, it's a power cell that you don't get from freeing all of these sages. I completely. M oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. I There was nothing I could do because thankfully there's a checkpoint, so I don't care about dying here. Uh, that sucked. I can do it! I can make it! I've made it! Oh my goodness. 
That was actually... I'm really happy with that. And I've made it. Awesome. Yellow eco everywhere! Why are you giving me the wrong colored ecos for the wrong sages? Okay. Never mind, there's some red eco up ahead. I'm not gonna complain then. Anyway, we have lots and lots of... Uh, these jumping parts are the worst where you have to jump up a ledge. Thankfully, once you get this red eco, everything is a lot easier because th they just can't hit you because you're spinning. Basically, these three generators are actually creating more lurkers. You weren't. Don't step into the light, Jack! Don't step into the light! You weren't meant to die there, Jack! Oh well. Easy enough to do the second time. Now, that I'm not focusing on collecting those boxes. And the cutscene does play again. Okay. But yes, those three machines are generating new lurkers. That we have to kill every single lurker that comes through here. Thankfully, it doesn't spawn too many before... Like, I think there's some form of limit on how much... how many lurkers can actually come from each machine until you kill more lurkers. But once the machine has been deactivated, it's just a matter of... getting all of them. And, oh my goodness, the camera here is a bit weird, but, oh, is this it? Is this it? Man, how many? One scout fly, and I know exactly where that is. Power cell, just to remain in the whole game. And, ready, Kosei. <laughs> you finally come to rescue. Do you know how long I've been in here? What took you so long? <laughs> what are your names? I'm Daxter. He's Jack. He's with me. Good job, Daxter. You're a real hero. You've got to stop Gaul from launching the robot. I'll use my eco power to help you open the shield door. And for saving each of those three sages, we can now, like, just this path has appeared for us to head up to Samos, the green eco -sake. And I've been avoiding saying this because I didn't really want to spoil any of the cutscenes, but dang it, I really want to point it out to you and make you guys hate this next cutscene that we are going to see when we... Did that platform move when I... Oh my goodness, they move when you spin next to them. That is totally not scary at all. And wow, those worked really well with me. Usually they don't. Now it's just a matter of going up all of these that alternate between each other. But yes, this upcoming cutscene with Samos the Sage. I'd like to point out two things with the character models, and yes, I know this game is quite old, but the character models in this game, if you take a look at two things in particular, you're going to find it really hard to enjoy a cutscene. Those two things are the feet, as you can see, they're best with Jack, actually. They did put time into Jack's feet. I am levitating, but... Even worse than that, especially with Samos. I think Samos's feet are fine because they're more like hands and feet. But take a look at Samos the Sages. Woo! Yes, I've done it. Every Picasso orb is mine! Right, yes. Take a look at Samos the Sages' teeth in this cutscene. Sorry, guys. Good work, boys! You're real heroes now! 
I'll combine my green eco power with the other three sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Paul to help Daxter. You're too late, save us. Once I possess limitless dark ego, I will have the key to creation itself. This is madness! Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you! It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the Silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! Jack! Take the elevator up and stop that robot! I'm sorry for spoiling that cutscene, guys. But hey, it just bugs me too much. But we have our mission to save the world. And now we can see what the lurkers have been gathering up across all the areas. Like the dark eco in a few places. As well as the precursor parts. So they could put together this robot. Remember the arm in Boggy Swamp they were trying to lift up? Yeah, they were doing stuff like that. But it's time for the final boss. Basically, you're gonna grab Yellow Eco and shoot him. Okay, yes, that phase was pretty easy. But now he's actually gonna play really mean. And I want to jump out of here before that blows up. Each time that blows up, this is between every phase, this will open up a little bit more. Don't forget, Dark Eco is instant death. I don't remember there being a health unit here, so I'm not going to collect it because, well, why would I? And these are what locals are like when they are tainted by the Dark Eco. Yes. And in case you're wondering, you can't just, well, I'm out of eco. You can't just shoot Goal and Maya whenever you want. Usually you'll be, that was close to the pit. You'll be shooting them when they have a weapon. Thankfully, no matter when you jump, that will explode. If you jump early, it'll explode on contact. It'll also take a little bit of time to explode. But this is where it can actually get tough. As these are gonna create rings for you to have to jump over. Once you dodge them, shoot away at the arm! Destroy that cannon so it doesn't fi 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 Dodge it. I actually just... I am shocked that I managed to destroy that. Give me that health, please. Thank you. This could be a flawless fight. I... Hope I don't regret saying that. I'd never have a flawless fight with this guy. By which I mean no deaths. The getting hurt, I don't care about. I struggle so much with him. No need to aim for this one, but make sure you're moving when this fires. It does take time to charge up, thankfully. And don't forget, you can keep firing when you are moving towards them. And I think there's only... One more phase left. Just won't give up. Right, Eco. It does exist. They must not be allowed to get it. Why, Eco? That could be the stuff to chain me back. Or 
might stop that robot. Hmm. Stay fuzzy. Save the world. Choices. Okay, fine. We'll save the world. But do it quickly before I change my mind. Quick, do what Daxter says. Light Eco will start raining down. All you need to do is find one piece. However, these bombs are also nearby. They are short range, but they will still blow up. And with that, guys. Do something! We've done. We've defeated Golemire and saved the world. <laughs> Looks like I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, None of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring them on! We can take them again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy! And with that, we have credits! I really like this game, thankfully I can speed up credits somehow. Um, analog stick? I know I can speed them up. What? Maybe it has to go through a little bit first. Um, I'm pressing every button. Why? You can normally speed them up. Oh, fine. Oh, well. This game is absolutely amazing. I don't think there really weren't that many 3D platformers that had this much character around this time. A lot of the platformers really were just there to... Well, I can speed it up now. Really were just there to have fun. Sorry, guys and people who worked on this game. Like, it. I loved it. It was great. But... Hey, there's a cutscene after the credits I want to see. Please. Thank you. Whew. Okay, I guess you have to just wait a bit before you do that. Holy yakko! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have a hundred power cells. Actually, we have a hundred and one. Now this is your reward for completing the whole game. Minus precursor orbs and that one extra power cell, apparently. Wow! What is it? It's so beautiful. By the precursors. But what could it be? Will we ever find out? Maybe, and it's gonna take me back to the title screen. I wasn't ready for you. That does relate to the next game in the franchise, Jack 2 Renegade, which is not quite a 3D platformer, in case you're looking at picking that up. Maybe look into it a bit more, it's got some weapons in it, let's leave it at that. But, it's still a great game, I do recommend you pick this game up and the rest of the the other two games. Jack X, maybe not. But Jack 2, Jack 3 and this one are all great, especially this one. 
This is just one of those 3D platformers around this time that really stands out and I love it. Hope you guys pick it up. But with that, I will see you guys either in my top 10 soundtrack video for this game. Oh boy, that's going to be fun because it's all very subtle. Otherwise, I guess I'll see you guys in my next LP, which will be very colourful. Let's leave it at that. So, with that guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. Bye bye